Welcome to episode 73 of... Album that's been requested by so many different people. Among them, Joel Petri, Wealthy Salmon, Jesus Palakius, Oki, Josh Patterson, Stephen Yannick, Jimmy Bob, Jess Garcia, me, Elliot, Matthew Roche, and Puya Mercurimi. We all together are going to listen to an album by Home Shake called. Midnight Snack! Silly thumbnail done. I don't know what to expect here. I always sound like a broken record when I'm saying that. Forever, oh, I don't know what to expect here, I don't know what to expect here, I don't know what to expect here. From what you guys have told me, this guy, and this is another one of our kind of Tim Impala, Mac DeMarco types, who play, write, do everything themselves. From what you guys tell me, this guy used to play in Mac DeMarco's band, and now he's in his own band called Home Shake. He calls himself Home Shake. The postman comes to his door, says, I got a letter here for Peter Sager. He says, no, the name's Home Shake. Postman says, milkshake? No, not milkshake. No, we've got a label. Should we read the label? Let's read the label. Ready for this? Are you ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. Home shake. We can do this. On his sophomore album, Peter Sager trades in his guitar for synthesizers and a drum machine, pulling influence from house pioneers like Chip E and Mr. Fingers, as well as Japanese starlets like Jemmy Manabe, but slowing the tempo with his own homemade drowsiness. The result is an eclectic tangle of personal anecdotes steeped in reverence to D'Angelo and R. Kelly. It's times like this that I want to stand proud, tall, and shout next to a woman. If someone could provide me a woman. Woman, woman, woman. There's no woman. There's just you and me. This cell, your intelligence, and my ravishing good looks. So, Midnight Snack. I can see it's not a gatefold. Let's unsheath. God, it's going to end in disaster one day. We've been right 73 times. But one day the knife's just gonna go through the record. Oh, that's good. Just scratch the cover. It's brilliant. There's gotta be an easy way to do this, hasn't there? Hasn't there? No one's told me what it is yet. What do you guys do? It's alright. It's alright. It's all right. Just calm the f down. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Good. Cut my lip. For the cover, we have a room with a table and some porridge and a cigarette and a shadow under the table. Perhaps it's a body in a fish tank sunk into the floor of a nightclub. Final episode of which series? Answers on a postcard. And the back ah, is a picture of, I assume that's Peter Sager. Sager! With some song names. Recorded in 2015. Four years ago. And I believe his new album's just come out, hasn't it? I like to be, I like to be behind the times. If I had my own way, I'd be kind of a bit Wardian or Victorian. I think that's more my sort of era. Riding, well, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be in the carriage. 
horse-drawn carriage, glancing out the window, seeing if I can spot Jack the Ripper. Hey, sleeve! Oh, hang on, there's something in here. We got something, we got something to read! Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, here's a picture, can you see this? Here's a picture of Home Shake eating like a pot noodle. See that? You can see that. So we've got a little bit to read. We haven't got any, look, we haven't got any lyrics. No lyrics, but we've got a little bit to read there. So we, we can do a little bit of reading in a minute. It's all right. Put yourself together. We've got the card. We usually got a card. We've got a card. We've got a card. we down. Yes! Download card! Which I've never used. Right, download card. Fine. And finally, sleeve. Come on. Sleeve. <laughs> oh. Not a very interesting inner sleeve, but what colour do you think the vinyl is, my mercenaries? What colour do you think the vinyl is? Black. What colour do you think the vinyl is? Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. We can do this. Let's put side A on. Let's put side A on. We're going to start with what did he look like? Oh, yeah. Partial excitement. Never fully aroused. Rarely. Get yourself a coffee, guys. And girls. We could be here for some time. That's right. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going. I want to relax. I want to relax with this. It sounds like a really nice guy. What you say? Relax. A home shake. Home shake? Yeah, I got a buddy who does music. He said his name was Home Shake. He said his name was Home Shake. I can't remember. All I know is that his name was Home Shake. Hey 
Told her. Last time it was easy. Last time it was easy. Kermit. I reckon he's a big gambler on the roulette wheels. I like it. Wow, it's minimalist. Comedic. It's probably not meant to be fun, you know? But it is a little comedic. It's alright. We like comedic. songs in a row about how hot you are. suppose we're all in here together now. We're in this together. Oh, this is a bit Mac DeMarco. We're all in this together now. We're, we're having a midnight snack on the doobies. But you're all in here with me. Believe me, it is hot. So that's one thing we've got in common with Home Shake. This inhabits the same universe as Mr. DeMarco. Got you? Oh. Oh. 
Sounds real drums here. Permit for a night on the town. Like I said, keep them away from those roulette wheels. Just needs a little break from this piggy, that's all. Oh 
yes. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, this just sounds like... It actually sounds like a band playing together in a room, even though I know it's all him playing all the instruments. That's good. If you're a solo guy, and you can make your slab of vinyl sound like a collection of people riffing and vibing in a room, then you've done well. And do you know what I especially like? It's bands that can truly convey a feeling of heat. I know what I mean by that. Claustrophobic heat through their music. I mean, the bass, it's like... It's like Mac DeMarco and Tame and Parlor in a way, and that the bass is driving a lot of this music. All songs by Peter Sager, except What Did He Look Like by Peter and Cole Kushner. Recorded by Jackson McIntosh. I should do this in a more radio voice. Hang on. Recorded by Jackson McIntosh at the Drones Club in Montreal between October 2014 and March 2015. Mastered by Josh Bonatti. Art and photos by Selena Ladha. Layout by Ryan McArdle. Lettering by Luke Norad. Thanks to Selena, Greg, Mark, Brad, Jack, Cole, Jones, the mom, dad, Dozy. Don't know what happened to the accent at the end there. Here we go. It's an important bit now. Are you going to join me for side B? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, very staccato keyboards. The sort of keyboard that uh, Casio made when they were trying to compete in the early 80s. When everyone was obsessed with uh, Yamahas and, and the Core Game 1. Baby. Whoa. Song. It's been put through a wood chipper, like um, like in Fargo, if that was songs rather than flesh. It's a Niagara Falls thing, but I'm not used to beds that you put money into and they vibrate. Have I led a sheltered life? Yeah! That's, that's what you're going to tell me. 
This is an appropriate conversation for this song. sound at the forefront. It sounds like a really shit ice cream van. What's that? I'll have a 99 flake please. as the soundscape is creating here with seemingly that's the important word here seemingly such little effort Having another. Right. I hope you've all got your cafe fair 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 fair. Have you? We can take our pants off all night. Because I like to wear all my pants at once. It's a hell of a lot of washing each day, mind. He's gonna burst in and start singing about Christmas. Never put it past him. Might be a billionaire, but there's not a room that's safe from Paul McCartney bursting in. A plate of full fat sausages and a Christmas song. to 80, late 70s, early 80s, people dancing really badly at a disco. This 
song might even be called Move This Body. It's making me do it. Home shake. You're winning. The sweat. The sweat is soaking through. This is a, this is a whole album about confined sweaty rooms and bodies writhing over each other to the sounds of Paul McCartney. This is just grease and sweat and semen and fluids. Ladies and men. That's for me. I think I love you. Come on. Come up to my place for a cup of coffee. That's it. Christmas is done again for another year. swing to that. You can actually program that swing in on our sequences. Some of the early uh, uh, samplers, the AK jobs and everything, and the early 90s especially, the stuff that like, the Prodigy used to use, had a beautiful swing to it. Can, um, can computers have emotion? Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I like that. I like that skip beat. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. There, it's there, I missed it by one. Oh. How strange. The thing is about this sort of um, messing with rhythm and time. This is what... This is what... Makes humanity... Humanity has the potential... To be above the animals. Although every day I find evidence of humanity letting me down. I want to be under the sea in an octopus's garden. Let me in I'll put out the bins Just open your seashell for me, baby You like to lock your oyster shell shut, don't you? You just sit in there With your mother of pearl I've got loads of uh, mother of pearl jokes. They were common in the 70s. Alternative comedy drove mother of pearl jokes. 
drove them away. Oh, yes. Stick intro. Oh. Again. He's making it sound like we're in a room together. You. I. And a couple of musicians. With sweat dripping from the ceiling. Oh, that's beautiful. This sounds like it could be the theme tune to Moonlighting. Remember that? I've spoken quite a few times about my love of Moonlighting. Sybil Shepherd, uh, Bruce Willis. Oh, that's lovely. Clever program. Probably dated horrendously now. Oh, just listen to that bass driving the song. Oh, actually, I'm hearing a little bit like John Lennony vibes here with the vocals. Bit of spanned out ballet. Log Additional Like I said, computers can have emotions. Mine chooses to fuck me over every day. Didn't say they're good emotions. Just when I was going to join in. There we go. Let's wait. No hidden message at the end. Well, there you go, my mercenaries. I was expecting an appearance uh, from the soup dragon at the end there. That was Midnight Snack by Home Shake. I really enjoyed that. It was hot, sweaty, and sexual. <laughs> as much as it can be between you and I in here these and a wooden frog and a cup of coffee i give that 12 o'clock 
absolutely fantastic. Peter Sega, whoever you are. And the fact is that there was a time, my mercenaries, in the not too long ago distance, not as long ago as Star Wars was set, because that was a long time ago, and that was also very far away, but in the not too long ago distance, I too ate a lot of noodles that were basically cooked by pouring boiling water onto them and waiting two minutes before you poured in a little bit of soy sauce. Never really been one for wearing beanies, but when it comes to a studio looking like a tip and eating noodles, then me and Home Shake are like that. Like that, I tell thee. Like that. Hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, Home Shake Midnight Snack. Highly recommended. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then sod off. Uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Unsubscribe if you don't like me. Thank you very much. Keep the recommendations coming. Just appreciate that time and tide wait for no man. Over. Yeah, over. And...